Ah, Gretsuko. We meet again. When mild manner but feisty and I is tasked gently with cooking up a killer batch of yakisoba, he gets straight to action and master chefs and metalheads his way to a yakisoba worth drooling over. Yakisoba is one of those so easy you can't believe it dishes in Japanese culture, so let's get to work on a recipe that anyone can do and enjoy. One of the most important ingredients to a healthy looking yakisoba is the sauce you mix it all up with. Add soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, sugar, chili powder, and a pinch of umami seasoning and ketchup to a bowl and mix thoroughly. We've got layers of sweet and spicy in here, so if you want a more savory experience, feel free to forego the sugar and turn down the ketchup. The veggies we've got on deck today match what we saw in Agritsuko. We see layers of hot dog calamari, cabbage, and maybe some onions. And we've gone ahead and added some small additions ourselves for flavor. We want to fry some cabbage in some nice big chunks, so cut a leaf into smaller squares and set aside. Slice an onion into thin strips and then do the same for half a carrot. The way you make hot dog calamari is beyond simple. Cut a hot dog into thirds and carefully use a knife to cut into it, kind of like a birthday cake. Cut one side, rotate it, and cut another. When the hot dog cooks, the legs will spread out from where you cut them. Bring a pot of water to a boil and cook some yakisoba noodles according to the packet, but stop a minute earlier since we'll continue to cook the noodles with the rest of the ingredients. Drain the noodles and set aside. Heat two tablespoons of peanut oil in a wok until it's smoking hot. Add some garlic, then your cabbage and carrots and cook until the ingredients have softened. Add in the remainder of what you prepared for a couple more minutes. Finally, add the noodles and the yakisoba sauce to adorn the entire mixture. Now just stir to your heart's content so the noodles have fully soaked up the flavor and everything else is coated and ready to nom on. Transfer to a container and serve, piping hot. And voila! Yakisoba noodles as seen on Agritsuko. In theme with the show, we learn in this episode that even this otherwise unassuming office worker has something that brings them joy. Sharing it with the world is something we can all be grateful for. Are you a karaoke queen or a chef extreme? Let us know in the comments below what your Agritsuko moment would be. Who's that patron? It's Charlie! 2130! Charlie 2130. Here we go. Bah! Cheers. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. I know. I love noodles. In Chinese culture, noodles are a symbol of longevity because noodles are long! Wow. Well, this is definitely one of my favorite Japanese noodle dishes. I love yakisoba. Yakisoba! I love yakisoba! What is your favorite Japanese dish? Is it yakisoba? Mm -hmm. So, I love Japanese culture because they have also found like a thousand different ways to eat noodles. There's ramen, there's yakisoba, there's like right. cold noodles, there's udon. So I think the key differences between Chinese, Japanese, and Korean cuisine is that Chinese cuisine is they will, they'll do anything and they've, they've done everything. They've been around, like that, that country's been around for thousands of years. So right. every iteration of food they've done, they'll cook anything and make it interesting. Japanese right. culture like takes uh, food and like finds ways to... They're innovative. Yeah, to innovate and also like very specifically make it like art almost. Like food is an experience that's a lot, that's like slightly above just like nourishment and all that stuff. And so like... We're artists. <laughs> and then I think Korean uh, food is the most practical out of all of them. They're very much a culture that just makes food that is highly functional over form. Winnie, I appreciate that assessment. <laughs> the cool thing about it is, is I feel like in every Asian culture, there's something similar to mm -hmm. each other. Like I'm sure there's a yakisoba in Chinese culture or yeah, it's called... Korean culture that is very similar to what the Japanese people have mm -hmm. originally created here. So in American restaurants, cool. you'd call it chow fun. This is really good though. What do you think about the hot dogs in it? These cute little um, octopus hot dogs are descendants from what you'd see in like bento boxes and stuff. In the beginning of this Agritsuko episode, the character is actually putting it into his little uh, bento box for, for lunch that day. I think it's really cute. Yeah, it is. And it actually doesn't taste funny in it. Like mm -hmm. normally I'd get yakisoba with like beef, mm -hmm. but I don't mind this hot dog. Mm -mm. This beef hot dog. And this does feel like something you get at like a country fair or at the, the fairgrounds going out and coming in those little plastic containers is super cute. But mm -hmm. it's also fast, easy, and just delicious. You guys can tell how much I really loved a feast if it's almost gone. And as you can see, it is almost gone. So I know, I'm just power driving my way through this thing right totally. now. Totally. It's so good, y'all. It's very flavorful. This one is a great job. This is a job well done, y'all. You will Come not be disappointed if you do this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you want to see us make something that you want on the show. We're always taking suggestions from the crowd. 
Yep, yours is the most important too, so mm. let's hear it. Actually, there are some suggestions that are slightly more important. The ones on Patreon. That's right, the ones that come from our <laughs> patrons <laughs> over at patreon.com slash piece of fiction. They directly support the show. They helped us in the creation of something very exciting. We are building a brand new set for Feast of Fiction so that we won't be in this kitchen anymore, but we am one that we designed and put together ourselves. And we know you'll like it so much. So thank you guys again for that. And as always, thanks for your continued support. Heck yeah, always. So, you know, I received a couple of comments recently that I was like, I love Feast of Fiction, never stop. Like it was like, it was Aww, something that- Oh, like maybe it's gonna girl, be the everlasting show, y'all. Well, it does have this everlasting quality to it. And you know, as we expand into the future, and come out with a cookbook, uh -huh. new set. New logos. New logos, new, new recipes, brand, new uh, branding. Face. The show will always be the same with me and Ashley, making food for you because we love making food, especially if it's, you know, delicious stuff like this. From the people of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, until Thanks. next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>